Hey guys, it's Scott here with uh, What a Mess Railroad in the uh, new year, 2016. Uh, first video of the year. I wish everybody, or I hope everybody had a great uh, holiday. Everything was great. It was quiet here. Uh, nothing too exciting due to all the circumstances. But uh, I did get some work done to the train. Um, I'll show you down this end first. Still haven't got the passenger station area done yet. Uh, I just got this a uh, track on the outside here ballasted and I cut this part of the mountain out of there. Uh, I think instead of putting switches there, what I'm going to do is try to extend it longer. I don't know. I may get this done this year. We'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, there's nothing really exciting happened down this end. Um, most of it all happened down here. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, this here is the old turntable that I had uh, when I was a child from Atlas. Apparently they're still making them today. I can't decide if I want to use that or not, or if that's even worth it. But we'll see in the future, I guess. Um, yeah, some of the stuff I've picked up from the hobby shop... Uh, I picked up this uh, black water tower. Uh, I guess you can't really see it too good. Uh, that's a little better. Yeah, I thought that would look good in the maintenance department. And I also picked up a um, my jack for the uh, intermodal yard. And uh, of course, I had to pick up the hobby shop. Probably. Uh, model probably put the name of the hobby shop i shop from and uh, this came off of ebay uh some guy i think it was in quebec or something brand new sealed in the package uh 15 bucks um not sure what i'm going to do with that yet but hey for that price who can complain i also picked up uh the uh, transmission towers uh, that go along with the substation and the uh, power station. I haven't done much to it since uh, I put it together. And this here, um, I just kind of uh, filled this in with uh, mud and uh, put two of uh, those uh, Pico... Uh, well, actually, it's one, but I split it into um, pits. I thought it would look good for doing some work outside, since this is going to be an open area. And, of course, as soon as I laid the uh, mud here on the, uh, the layout, sketch, well, you can't see it now, but in front of that diesel, I had to patch it, put a great big paw right smack dab in the middle of it. Oh, and I forgot in the last video, I also picked up this... Uh, shell it comes with uh the railings and the plow and all the uh the uh number board stuff and lights and things basically all you got to do is paint it and and uh get power for it not sure i think i'll model this one after uh call it wam and use that around the yard so, yeah, I thought that was a good idea. And one other thing I got was the big modern diesel house. Um, Cora's father bought that for Christmas for me, which was awesome. And, oh, I forgot I just had these in here. The, uh, the uh, walkways for the uh, passenger station. But I did start to do some work on it. Um, there's tons of parts, and wow, the work that you have to do on this thing. But it will be worth it in the end. Uh, so I decided to uh, get a lot of the outside done. Um, so as far as I got, really, I decided to uh, you know paint that. The only thing is, I'm not sure how I'm going to paint the inside. I've went on YouTube and looked. Uh, 
like for the base and stuff. I mean, oops, something fell out. Hope we don't lose it. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure because some people have painted them gray. Some people have painted that, I don't know, uh, concrete color. Uh, there's yellow colors, red for the piers, gr yellow for the piers that hold the rails and everything. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. But the outside's pretty done. But uh, yeah, other than that, not much else. Um, I was going to leave this video until the uh, other uh, stuff arrived from the United States. But it's in Montreal. It's been there for a week. I don't know what the holdup is about Montreal, but as soon as it gets to Montreal, nothing ever leaves for at least a week. Um, yeah, the package came from Florida, went all the way to Anchorage, Alaska, and then went to Montreal, and that's where it's been. Hopefully it'll be here this this week. Uh, it's the last order I have from the States. It's just not worth it buying anything else because of the uh, dollar and stuff. It's taken a beating. Um, so that's pretty well it. But, oh, one other thing I should show. Uh, I don't know if this will work. Uh, oh, under the layout. I should have planned this a little better. You know me. I always forget what I'm doing. Just a second here. I'll get a light. See if it'll reach. This is a live video, unedited. <laughs> Alrighty, um, Joe G was asking how I wired underneath my layout. Now, originally, I guess you can see this, I went with the uh, suitcase uh, connectors onto the main bus line. And after a while, I didn't think that was such a great idea. I went with the bars. I haven't taken the suitcase out, so... I mean, it's not necessary to take them out, but from now on, I've been doing the bar onto the onto the main bus line, like you can see here. Hope you guys don't get too seasick with the uh, camel work. And I didn't realize how much of this I didn't do because all the ones with the uh, bars on it, were all the wires I hadn't connected, so I had to get some connected up for it. So, one thing I didn't do with the bus line that you're supposed to do is uh, twist it. It helps with interference and crosstalk and whatever else, since DCC communicates through the bus line. So, probably when I take these suitcases off, I'll probably end up replacing it anyway, because what I'm going to do is twist the wire in from each bar that has power, I just connect them to the bus line through the suitcase. That'll be the only suitcase lines that'll be left. Um, hopefully that uh, helps you out. And uh, here, this board is going to be for the computer power supply and the uh, um, power bar and stuff. That'll be all screwed onto there and I'll show that once I get that done. Um, yeah, and, and I, use power computer power supplies to do the uh all the different voltage for accessories and stuff uh, computer power supplies are great so anyway guys um that should be it for now this video is kind of running long and uh that's it for now so when the stuff comes in from uh, montreal i'll probably be making another video then so until the next time guys uh Hopefully this will be a great year, uh, better than last year. And, uh, oh yeah, one other thing, see, keep forgetting. People have been asking about what I'm going to do with the layout. Uh, the next thing is going to be, as soon as I clear this out, I'm going to put a four by eight sheet, which is gonna go along here. And where these shelves are, because these shelves come apart, they're in two halves, I'm gonna take them apart and for now I'll put them underneath the layout and I'm going to start coming up this way 
to about, I'd say to this shelf approximately, which is about uh, 10 feet. And then I'll take a right and go over this part of the basement. But like I said, that's not going to be for a while because there's, of course, more shelving and more stuff. My tools, uh, we did clean out of this up. I got to put more stuff back in here, the Christmas stuff. We got it finally organized. And here's a bunch of empty boxes for my uh, servers that uh, that are upstairs. I don't know if they'll keep them. I may have to get rid of them due to the little space. And all the DVDs, I'm going to have to get those put somewhere. But anyway, guys, like I said, this is running along. So, yeah, we'll uh, talk to you later.